transaction based on deception which yields a profit or a gain to which one is not justly entitled. In other words, what the Americans call a rip-off. Today, the whole world, the economy around the world, is in the grip of riba or usury. But notice that the modern riba economy originated from Britain. It is the Bank of England which was established at the end of the 17th century. The Bank of England which began the effort, which spearheaded the effort for the establishment of today's modern riba economy. Not only through lending and borrowing and interest, Britain became the money lender of the world. But more than that, to substitute real money with paper money. It is Britain whose Bank of England at the end of the 17th century who began to issue the first paper currency. And once you begin to issue paper currency, your capacity for establishing a riba economy is now tremendously enhanced. But we have a lecture on this subject coming up, Islam and the international monetary system. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, <coughs> that the last people to come out to Dajjal all the Antichrist will be women the last people to come out to Dajjal or the Antichrist will be women and a man would have to return to his home and tie down his wife and sister and daughter to protect and preserve them from Dajjal, the Antichrist. Indicating that when Dajjal's mission is close to its climax, something strange is going to sweep the world of women. That they are going to be deceived, utterly deceived that what would appear to them to be the road to progress which they will eagerly grasp and embrace what would appear to them to be a revolution in the world of women the likes of which mankind never witnessed before would in fact be the jazz deception I believe you will share with me the view that that prophecy of the Blessed Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, is today being unfolded in the modern feminist revolution and its so-called struggle for women's liberation. That also is a topic which is coming up in our series of lectures. But do you know that Britain, the island of Britain, initiated and led the feminist revolution? I present all of this information to you to argue the case that the island in the Hadith of Tamim Udari is the island of Britain. Now then, I notice <coughs> that when the jar is released in a day which is like a year and Britain is his headquarters, I notice as a student of international relations, I notice that Britain's 
strangely, strangely, strangely becomes the ruling state in the world. Come on, you explain to me. How do you explain a little obscure island off the coast of Europe, which never walked on the stage of history, an island that Napoleon contemptuously dismissed as a nation of shopkeepers. How do you explain that that little island establishes its rule over the whole world, Pax Britannia? Britain rules the world. I want to suggest to you tonight that the only man who can explain the emergence of Britain as the ruling state in the world at the time when it emerged is a man named Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon him. And the explanation is that this is the work of the Antichrist. In 1914, if you would go back and do some research, you will find as yet <coughs> air power has not as yet come. Your armies commanded the land and your navy commands the sea. And Britain, Britain controls the seas of the world. In 1914, Britain commanded every strategic naval port in the whole world. This was not by accident. It is time for us to sit back now and read history once again. It is because Britain was poised at that moment, commanding the seas around the world. And the, the Zionist movement had accumulated this vast chest of money through the diamond mines of South Africa. <coughs> that in the summer of 1914, they were ready to strike with an act of terrorism. An act of terrorism which changed the world. I want to suggest to you that the authors of that act of terrorism in the summer of 1914, through which the Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated in Sarajevo, are the same authors who planned and executed the September 11 attack on America. There are those who will not be convinced. They will say, no, CNN does not lie. The American government does not tell any lies. No, they said that it is Arabs and Muslims who attacked America on September the 11th. And we are convinced that they are speaking the truth. But guess what? One day, we stand in another court. On that day, the Quran says, Yawma idhin tuhaddithu akhbaraha. The earth will reveal all the secrets that the media don't tell us today. And on that day, I will not be surprised. When I am seen, I am shown who are the authors of the September 11 attack on America. I would not be surprised on that day. But on that day, those who insist that Washington is speaking the truth, oh, what an awful event will it be for them. See, you know that? I mean, these people are going give me a six for a nine. I was so utterly and totally and completely deceived. 
and I swallowed their lies and as a consequence I blamed an innocent